Shout out to everybody out there in the world watching this video right now. You could be doing anything at all, but you're here. Welcome to the CA channel again. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe, smash that like button, and leave a comment after you watch the video. I go by sound. And today we have a very special guest out of my city, Providence, Rhode Island, the smallest state in America. Mm. But like I've always emphasized, especially on the podcast, we are some of the most biggest and brightest hearts when it comes to creatives in the world. And ironically, you know, it's a small state, but we have a major, major guest today tiktok famous youtuber just hit a uh not a hundred i was gonna, I was, I was gonna downplay subs. you <laughs> one million fucking subscribers on youtube yep. or chata Crazy. soto welcome to the fucking car man how's Thank it you going so man? much man dude i've been watching this for so long like i've been Appreciate a fan it. for for a minute for yeah, a minute it's and love. then it's my love. sister grew up with a bunch of you guys as yeah, well yeah and ashley shout out to ashley yep, soto. shout out to ashley and um yeah it was just like an honor to be hit up by you guys it's like you know what yeah of course that's, i'm down that's all day bro down. that's all day man it's an honor to you know for you to even share your time with us at all <laughs> our first tiktoker on the channel we're gonna react to his favorite tiktoks as he that he's created or his most you know Hit whatever he considers his best, uh, I guess, TikToks you can say. And yeah, comment down below. And it's going to be interesting because I know a lot of people do this on YouTube where they react to their favorite TikToks, etc. But it's going to be interesting having the actual creator of That's some crazy, of your favorite yeah. TikToks here actually react to his favorite yeah. creation. So just let's get into yeah. it right now. I started TikTok March 2020, right? Mm -hmm. That was uh, June, right? So throughout that process, I was just doing like trends, sounds, you know, I was never talking on the camera. Yeah. But I had fun making videos, right? And yeah. I always wanted to make Hispanic mom skits. Yeah. Like, you know what? Let's take advantage of this little platform I have of like 8,000 followers. Yeah. Make my first Hispanic mom skit and it blew up. Let's, let's see it right now. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> you know what's funny? That's how it be, man. The rush. That was the Spirit America, right? The intro? Yeah. That appeared on Desperta America. Wow. They put it on, yeah. That's yeah. amazing. Was it the same year? The uh, it was like it was like six, seven months later. Wow. I don't know how they found it. So they probably followed I'll the sound. More, yeah, I'll go more into detail with that. But yeah, they they appeared on Desperta America. And I was freaking out. <laughs> and my mom was like, oh my god, this kid is. Talk kid. about a full circle moment because you're doing a Latino uh, mm -hmm. skit sketch. Yeah. And then you're on one of the biggest Latino shows of all time. It's so funny. And, like, I didn't even have a phone. There. Like, I mean, I had a phone, but it was, like, a little trash Android. I had a little camcorder. Wow. And I just, you know, like, use what you got. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I had no lighting. I was using the lights from, like, the house and stuff. Bro, all raw. All yeah. raw. No team or nothing. It's yeah, just, nothing, like, just no. raw, raw, and it worked. Yeah. And then. So, so what's the second one you sent now? So this one. Do you remember as a kid? This when was you... my first story time. So, like, mm. the key to TikTok, I always say to people, is evolution, right? Yes. So what I did was, um, I was known for Hispanic mom skits, you know, but that niche was super, let's say, saturated. Yeah. Hispanic skits, like everybody does kind of like the same exact videos, yeah. right? Or like people can always replicate them. Yeah. And I was like, I kind of want to stand out, you know, I want to do something else. Yeah. And this was when I was burnt out too. I got burnt out like end of 2020. So I left for a week, TikTok. Like I just disappeared. Wow. I didn't announce it. Took a break, yeah. Took a break, right? Didn't announce it. It's like it's not it's not that deep, right? But people told me, like, oh don't leave. Like mm. that's scary, you know what I mean? For your account. Like I'm gone. And when I come back, I'm gonna make completely different videos. I don't care. Yeah. So that was my first ever story time. Like we have it. Now the legendary When you would go to the store with your Hispanic parents and they would scare you with Te va a ese hombre. Well <laughs> last week I was the victim of that situation. I was just casually working at Walmart where out of nowhere I just hear this kid cry. I used to work at Walmart. Out of nowhere his mom comes and goes, Guys, ves a ese hombre? Lo ves? El te va a llevar. And I'm just speechless. I look at the mom. And then I look at the kid. I know exactly what's going on. So I just play with it. <laughs> I just go with it. I drop my stuff and I look at the kid. And his eyes just pop as if he just saw like a 50% off jacket at Ross or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> and then I start walking towards the kid. And I just raise my hands. Just go. Like, <laughs> it just fucking flies, bro. Oh, I'm oh an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember as a kid? And it's crazy because this is something you really went through. You had oh, your yeah. whole Walmart uniform. Yeah. Like, you can't buy a Walmart I uniform. I know. And it's just like... The thing that happened too was like, not that I got tired of TikTok, but I wanted to like 
do different things. Like I want to do stand up comedy. Oh, okay. That's what it is. Nice. And like I'm still like practicing it and stuff. But this is that's what they do. COVID. A lot, yeah, well, this, a lot yeah. of them. Um, I saw one last night. Uh, Burke Kreischer. His main thing mm, is uh, mm-hmm. te- uh, saying stories like long form stories. Mm-hmm. And at the end, it makes the people like, oh, like yeah. it's worth the wait. I know. Yeah. But this was like around like COVID and stuff, 2020. Yeah. So like you can't go out. I can't practice this. Mm. So let's just make them in video formats. Wow. And, and yeah. there we have it. The practice turns into treasure moments because yeah. this stuff is like your and then archive. This one was this. I really. So this one's about my mom, right? Mm. And my mom is a huge Marco Antonio Solis fan. Yes, right? I love Marco Antonio. And she loves seeing him. Like the video says, like she's seen him like eight times live, right? Wow. And she's a cancer survivor, right? Oh God but bless. In God bless. 2020, she like still had it and stuff. And mm. around like Christmas time, she had like two surgeries. Like after two surgeries, mm-hmm. the doctor said, "Oh, it's still in her," right? Yeah. So that was brutal for us, right? So I was like, I want to make this Christmas a little bit special. So I want to try to get the attention of Marco Antonio Solis. Wow. Which is why I did that video. And here we have her here. I really want this video to get to Marco Antonio Solis. This is my mom. Her name is Betty. She is a huge Marco Antonio Solis fan. And she has seen him eight times live in two different countries. <laughs> and when she was pregnant with me in 2001, he came to Boston. And she still went to the concert. So she's a big fan. But this year has been really hard for us. Because of COVID, she hasn't been working. And and she's also been fighting this life-threatening disease that, that has required... It's required two I surgeries. Didn't say cancer. I didn't <laughs> However, wow. she has kept her head strong. That's, that's, that's amazing. Videos you don't want to say it. I want to say it. Yeah. I really want to make this Christmas special for her. Marco Antonio Solis, si usted está viendo esto, significaría muchísimo si pudiéramos programar una videollamada con usted por Zoom o recibir un mensaje de video de parte suya deseándole una feliz Navidad. Although he's not on TikTok, his daughter's on the app. So if she can get this message to him, it'll mean the world. Let's tag her. Hopefully we can get this video across other platforms too because I really want this video to get to Marco. <laughs> so, yeah. did he see it? Uh, next video, yeah. Let's see you the moment. Wow. Send her a video. Wow. <laughs> it was insane. Wow. Yeah. Man. Hey. I know, yeah, yeah I guess you're up, yeah, no, yeah, God no, bless. I look back at that, I'm like, yeah. And like Woo! That's so powerful. Like, like each one like a very significant moment I guess in my TikTok career, right? And also that one, so I forgot to say this. So I was gonna go into college that year, right? Yeah. I went for two weeks and I dropped out, right? Wow. Because I was like, I, I, I need to do this full time. This is my passion. Right? Yeah. I told my mom like, Ma, just give me a semester, one semester, then I'll go back, right? Yeah. But when I did that, that like sealed a deal for her. She's like, yeah. all right, this this kid's for real. Yeah. This kid's not messing around. <sighs> and then like. That's a real life. Yeah, and like also El Gordo de Flaca like interviewed us and stuff as well. Like I don't I don't have oh. that that footage right there, but. Wow. It was a crazy moment. It was a crazy moment for everybody, and like, man, that's, and then 2021, that's... cancer free. So God bless her, man. I know. It's Much insane. love to her. That's that's a freaking. You got me speechless, bro. We'll talk about it more on the podcast. Oh, yeah. That yeah, that definitely. got me speechless right now. So th- these are more upbeat. These are more fun. So <laughs> this right, is switching up the energy. <laughs> yeah. So um, this is what I got my iPhone. Right, just now I got my iPhone. Nice. The nice. whole time, like for a good year, I just had like a little Android, a uh, camcorder, like you made it work. Twenty what you camcorder, had, yep. right? And then um, that one um was like, again I got burnt out. Like I don't have any more stories, guys. Like yeah. the rest is the rest is just like writer's block. Yeah, writer's block, right? Yeah. So you know, like I don't know if you know about TikToks. They have like quotes, like profile picture movements. Everybody mm. change your profile picture to like this thing. Okay. Right. I started this thing called the Oshata quote. Right. Wow. And over like two hundred thousand people changed their profile picture. It hit like news articles. It hit like. It was pretty big. Wow. And like the Speaking Patriots, of Rochatas. Yeah. I got oh, you some. Do you, oh my God. Do you really? <laughs> I got some Rochatas. No way. Hold up. Oh my God. I got the Rochatas. You need help? That's, That's help. hilarious. There we go. Yeah. got the Rochatas on deck. That's hilarious. Oh my God. You know? Can I? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. There you go. Oh my God. 
I'll pretend I made them by hand. You made them by hand. I chose the uh, mano, bro. But yeah, wow. Okay, but so yeah. this was the so, commencement of the Ochata movement. Yeah, wait. This little logo. Oh, there we go. Yeah, We're here. Little, little sticker for you. Wow, thank you. I bought you. enough for everybody, so yeah. Thank you. Thank so, you. And like, we have everybody, like, Patriots changed their profile picture, TikTok profile picture to wow. that. Wow. Um, I'm trying to think of who else. Anyone big. A bunch of big creators. Um, like Leo Gonzalez, he like is like best friends with like George Lopez. And so stuff. everyone had like uh, there's a like that. So you this was your time for the the movement. So yeah, it was like the Orchata movement. So everyone started changing it to that. Yep. Yep. Wow. Yeah. And who decides that? It's just like a. It was just like a collective thing. A collective creators. thing. Yeah, and like it was really cool because like there was a bit of a meaning behind it. It was like yeah. share your love of Hispanic culture and food. Definitely. So like do that, change out your profile picture, and like. A bit of history around that logo like it's like Orchata and stuff and like the background is like blue white and blue it's so like Guatemala too yeah the Guatemala yeah flag. so that was like kind of like a little sneak in that profile picture too wow and the, straw, the straw also has like the bandera like kind of wow okay so let's see the video I'll be honest <laughs> I've been running out of stories to tell but I think it's time to start some new memories you want to help me you like tacos I like tacos with some Orchata as well obviously <laughs> let's start a cult <laughs> Fuck it, why not? You are officially I'm a such an idiot. Into the <laughs> Make this your profile picture to share your love of Hispanic foods and horchata. We got nothing to lose. I think it'd be funny. I got different colors too for your liking. So all my horchatas, this is your time to shine. Let's rise up. Let's take over TikTok. Yeah. All right, wow. guys, I gotta How be many honest. comments does it have? Like 22,000 comments. Like, everybody, everybody had their profile picture. Like, wow. I mean, some people. To this day, it's still got it. A couple people. <laughs> a couple people. I mean, a, wow. couple, a couple guys. You still see it every once in a while, but... This wow. was, so this how long did that last? Um, so, like, that's so funny, the next TikTok. So, like, it kind of died down in, like, May, let's say. So, like, it was, like, a good, like, three weeks of, like, peak, right? But then another cult showed up, right? And it was, like, around this guy who, like, would open SpongeBob Popsicles. Oh, So, you know SpongeBob man. Popsicles, how, like, they don't look, like, the same way, like, in the picture? Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. So he's on his mission to find like a perfect one, right? <laughs> That's one of my close buddies now. His name is Brent TV. Shout out to Brent TV. That's dope. He's been my mentor throughout YouTube. Right? Wow. Okay. He has nice. Two million on YouTube. So he's been helping me, mentoring me. God bless. And um, yeah, the way that we met was that we were, me and him, were having a war who can get more people to change their profile pictures. So it was yeah. a shot that versus SpongeBob. Wow. That was a whole thing. More articles. So more this things. was your arch nemesis. <laughs> yeah. People know that as me. People know that. People associate... people like that. People like beef. Like yeah. that whole, you know, it doesn't have to be violent, but mm -hmm. on a creative, yeah. competitive nature. Yeah, and every day we were just coming at each other. So yeah, wow. that's the next. Wow. So that's the next one right here. Yeah. That was like the fall of the second one or something. Oh my God. Look Point the SpongeBob Popsicle call so we can <laughs> soon defeat the Orchatas. Yep. Yeah, Tell me everything one. you know. Okay, so we're gonna play hard to get, huh? This is hilarious. You yeah. recognize him? What have you done to him? You like <laughs> and that logo was so and how about brand new and stuff. Then join yeah, it's us. a different sticker now. No. Yeah. No? Well, you know what I gotta say to that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. So join the Orchata code to share a love that of like Hispanic gave it foods. A whole new and you life. can customize them too. Rise People up doing that as well. Wow. Like, it was first like different backgrounds, but now everybody's like putting like faces on the thing wow. and everything. That's amazing. And um what else happened? Like That's we amazing. were being like random connections that we were making with different like not celebrities, but people like high profile people like yeah. the adventure of the Bop It, he hit us up and wow. he's like, You guys are gonna like battle and like the winner keeps I'll make them like a custom like Bop, Bop it. it. Yeah. I have I have mine. Oh, because you won? Says, I mean I lost it. I mean I lost, but then he sent me one later. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and what? someone to Brent and then um That's fire. A couple other things. And then those are just more Hispanic mom skits. That one, just like Hispanic mom skit. Twenty seconds on the clock, please. Like rejuvenated that Hispanic what mom What do era. people tend to do on the weekends? A limpiar. Name a delicious <laughs> meal you prepare in the summer. Caldo. Name a chore that kids hate doing. Ninguno. Si mis niños ni me ayudan. Name something you keep in your wallet. Ah, fotos de mis niños. Name a word that rhymes with sauna. Rana. Si no sana hoy, sanará mañana. Yep. <laughs> 20 seconds on the clock. I love it's it. So I love it, bro. Yeah. That's just fucking because it's like it's a niche, like it's a, a niche. Yeah, you're like it's something that that has a following within itself. Like it's mm -hmm. a whole nother world, and it's not yep. necessarily even like um, mainstream. Like mm -hmm. it's like very just, mm -hmm. it's just dope. It's just yeah. dope. You don't see yeah. it much, bro. Yeah. And that last one is just um, 
that was me yeah, moving into it. my own place. You know, that was like the big upgrade. Let's oh, say this is like, recent. This is this year. Yeah, this was this year. Yeah, and um, that's like when YouTube really like took off and stuff. Like, all right, let's go back to the story time format, which I didn't mind at all. Right? Yeah, and like it gave it new life. So I was like, all right, let's do some different story times. It's like I don't know how to explain it. It's just like. Like, so this just so, re- so you like put this one on YouTube too? So this one yeah that one's on YouTube so yeah. this become this became a short eventually yeah. oh yeah no yeah okay short, so. grocery shopping with your mom and in the checkout line she leaves to grab one more thing and you're alone panicking hoping she comes in time to pay well when I was a Walmart cashier I would encounter this situation so many times I'm just bringing this mom out with her kid and out of nowhere she goes la leche I'll be back mijo and now it's just me and her son and I can see the poor homie panicking because I've been in that situation so what should I do? Should I slow down and give the mom a chance to come back before I finish? Or start speeding up like a madman? <laughs> I would typically go to second route. Ah! The poor kid is flipping out, and Hispanic moms never come back in time. So who's gonna pay for this? <laughs> oh no, I have no money. What's your name? Jaden. Jaden. <laughs> mom comes, I ring out the milk, and homie looks as if he just saw the second coming. I mean, you gotta have fun at work every once in a while. Do you remember going grocery shopping? I like shopping? how you do the loop thing, too. Yeah, the loop and That stuff, loop yeah. thing is, like, more, like, effective, I feel mm-hmm. like. Like, it's such a yeah. simple concept, but... It keeps people watching or yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, like, little little tricks you learn, you know what I mean? Over time, as you make them. And, um... That's amazing. Yeah, so that's just, like... That's, like, how I... That's, like, right now, if you compare them, like... that. You can see the growth. Stuff. Yeah. You can yeah. see the growth. I see the growth, you and know. the hair stuff. <laughs> everything. <laughs> everything. Your evolution and age. Yeah. Your evolution and content. Your evolution as a brand. A significant um, correlation between them all to me would be your authenticity. Like, it's all something of you. Yeah. Your It's it's like your your family. It's your, your job. Mm-hmm. It's your actual heritage. It's all yeah. you. It's like, work with what you got. That's how I see it. Like, um, we can talk about this more in the podcast, too, but... Mm-hmm. Um, like I'm not Mexican, you know. I can't imitate a Mexicano, especially even if that's like the biggest audience and like Hispanic yeah, like, yeah. memes yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Even if I were to try that, it could even come out as offensive. You know what I mean? Yes. So like, working with you got I'm not Mexicano. Dominican is also like a big niche. Yeah, yeah it's too. another one. Yep. Yeah. Um, but there's no Guatemaltecos, right? No. And not in a bad way. Neither you can name. Yeah. Other than you now. I, I guess. <laughs> and, um, you know. It was just like working with what I got. Yeah. I was raised on saying like Puchica, what's this and that. Like yeah, that's yeah. just me, right? And then also being from Providence, you know, and like, I kind of correlate that as well in certain videos, like New England and stuff, and mm-hmm. like Patriots, Embrace the Patriots, that's what I love, right? Yeah. And I'm trying to think of anything else. I worked at Walmart, you know, I worked at the one in Providence, the one on mm-hmm. Branch. Nice. So, yeah, yeah. That's, the cra- that's the hectic yep, one. Yep, yep, yep. There's a lot of <laughs> stories there, a lot of stories to be made there. I don't know if you see some of those videos, there's like no hashtags, no sounds, nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I just post. There's like, no... Probar la suerte. That's crazy. Like, if it's a good video, people will share it. That's the end of the day. And watch time. That's a good to watch time. People got to sit through the whole video. I love that. Yeah. I love that. I love that. We're going to have a deeper dive mm-hmm. and conversation yep. right now with Orchata himself, <laughs> the leader yeah. of the TikTok movement TikTok. when it comes right now to the, I would say, the face of Guatemalan content creation. Everybody, yes, please sir. comment down below. Share mm-hmm. your opinion on him, on his content, and please spread, spread, and share mm-hmm. his content. Go watch oh, his you, videos man. on YouTube. What's your YouTube channel, the name, and everything as well? Orchata Soto. Orchata Soto. Everything Orchata Soto. Mm-hmm. And you guys may be able to purchase one of these stickers yourself. Yeah. Where the hell did the little charta go? I got another one, if anything. <laughs> what the hell? I've got a couple. <laughs> I think it came alive. It turned into a real human. It started bouncing. Bro, it disappeared. I got a bunch. Don't worry. All right. I buy these in bulk, so. Oh, uh, here we go. Yeah, it's like, and shout out to Complex Ambition, obviously. They're the first ones. First ones from Prov, man. Trust me. Just trying, trying our best. Trying, no, but really, like, especially like creators like me, like, you inspired a whole generation, man. Nah, thank you, man. Honestly, like. Thank you, man. I, I, I sometimes I forget about it, you know, like, we really were, a, like, the OGs of, like, out here, uh, yeah. like, YouTube. You showed that you don't have you don't have to leave to make yeah. it, you know what I mean? Yeah, we still haven't left. We, like, I'm still in Prov, too. You know what yeah, mean? that's amazing, yeah. bro. Yeah, I have no plans on leaving. People Smallest stay in yeah. the country. People, people get scared of that shit. Like, oh, uh, I don't know. You gotta. I like that phrase you said earlier. You gotta make work with what you got. Right? Work with what you got. Yeah. Because if you can't work with what you got, then when you're provided with the actual extra tools, yeah. you're, you're not gonna, gonna know what the fuck to do. Mm-hmm. And if you do, mm-hmm. it's not gonna be authentic. You yep. know. Honestly, yep. I like that a lot. <laughs> so, I love that. There's nothing much more else to say. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But appreciate you guys, and we're out. Make sure to go watch the podcast. Yes, sir. Right now. They gonna love me for my ambition. Bitch.